Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is Thursday, August 22nd. Um, it's been a super busy week at work and my dad's here visiting, so uh, hopefully I can upload this video tomorrow, which will be Friday the 23rd, I think I can. So today's video, I wanna talk about how I'm exercising my jaw so that I can open my mouth wider. Because right now I'm, God, I had surgery on June 3rd, it's almost, in like two weeks, it's like September 3rd, so I'm close to 90 days, let's say plus or minus like 14-ish, so I'm like 76 days um, out of surgery. So I've been out of surgery for a while, my recovery's been going well, I've resumed a normal diet, if you guys have been watching my videos. Um, everything is pretty good, there are a couple things that are just not quite there yet, and one of the biggest things for me is opening my mouth. It just hasn't came back to as wide uh, as I could open it before, so eating a burger, I haven't even tried doing that. There's no way I could even do it. I can only open my mouth right now a little more than the width of two fingers. Um, so that's like the width of like a banana. I could barely eat a banana, I could just fit in my mouth. Uh, today at the office we actually had donuts. A donut, like a normal sized donut, you get a Dunkin' Donuts. I can barely fit that in my mouth. That's like kind of just the right size. So as you can imagine, like that's not very wide. When I have a spoonful of food, um, and it's like over the top on the food and I try and put the food in my mouth I kind of have to like sprinkle it in or like take smaller spoonfuls because I just can't fit it My jaw won't open en uh, wide enough. So today's video is just gonna be all about um, How I stretch and exercise my jaw so that I can um, open my mouth wider and kind of get back to where I was uh, Before surgery, so here's what I start with. Let's get right into it. The first exercise I do is from my surgeon who I asked him, uh, you know, my jaw isn't opening very wide, what should I do? He recommended that five times a day, at, for one minute, I open my jaw as wide as I can for 10 seconds and hold it, take like a 20 second rest, open it again for 10 seconds and hold it, take like a 10, 20 second rest, and open it again for 10 seconds and hold it. So you do three uh, exercises each 10 seconds over the course of essentially a minute, and uh, you do that five times a day. So. What that is, is basically like this. And that's it. And then I'll pause a little bit or wait a little bit and 10, 20 seconds go by and then I'll just do that again. Um, he said this may hurt and it definitely does hurt. Um, my jaw joints, they just, they don't, they're not making weird noise and they're not popping, but they just feel sore. Like when I open up at the maximum amount, they just are like sore. It's kind of like, oh, yep, you're definitely stretching and you're holding it kind of like this like soreness you gotta like endure. So um, that's the first exercise. Uh, the second exercise is uh, moving your jaw uh, forward and backwards. So moving your lower jaw like kind of in front of your teeth. So now that our, my bite is like this, how it should be, I'm moving my, uh, I create a gap or I have my mouth slightly open and then I try and move my jaw like this. So like this. And this kind of pulls the muscles in the neck and I practice that for a few minutes. Uh, another exercise that I have been doing is you can simply just look in the mirror and go side to side. This one's kind of weird. Um, it feels like almost like my jaw is one piece. Obviously it's connected to the joints here, in the, but the lower jaw is a separate thing. And it feels like when I move it to the side, I can kind of feel like the top, not moving, but like tension against the top, like as if like I'm moving or like fighting against the, the plates and screws that are in there. Um, but I practice that. Uh, another thing I do is kind of when you're at the orthodontist, you're laying down on the table and they're holding your chin, they're saying open and close and they kind of like put resistance on your chin downward. So I'm doing that and I open a little bit, push downward to put resistance and then try and open against the force. So I go. So uh, that's another exercise that I do. Uh, another exercise that I do to stretch my jaw is you can kind of get in like a yoga position, like downward dog or just like a tabletop and lift your head up, your neck and just go. And that, you'll really feel that all in your neck. You could also do like, um, you could also be laying kind of like, as if you're laying flat on the ground and then put your arms up and, and kind of curve your back like this while you're laying down. 
and you do that also to stretch your jaw. Anyway, you guys, so that's pretty much it for the jaw exercises that I've been doing. Um, again, I haven't been able to open my mouth very wide and that's kind of like a continued uh, thing I'm working on. Uh, eventually, hopefully it'll come back. It might take a lot longer, uh, maybe six months or more, um, but I just keep trying every day. Oh, I also try this one. I put my hands like this and I kind of stretch my jaw out a little bit. Kind of like the exercise where I just open as wide as I can for 10 seconds and my surgeon told me I kind of use my fingers like this position to just do that. And do that stretch for a little bit. So everything else guys is pretty good. That's probably the only surgery side effect that I'm having kind of right now. Uh, a little bit of numbness on the top of my roof of my mouth but that's not really that big of a deal. It's more so the opening of the jaw. That's kind of my biggest problem right now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything's good. And if you guys are also having trouble uh, opening your jaw, practice those exercises. Uh, do it in front of a mirror, do it slowly for hurts. Maybe ask your surgeon or don't do it. Um, I've also seen people taking like uh, popsicle sticks and stacking them and like over time getting more popsicle sticks in their mouth. But my surgeon said not to wedge anything in your mouth like that. So I'm gonna uh, take his recommendation for it and not jam popsicle sticks in my mouth. And uh, hopefully the exercise I'm doing will work. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you found this video helpful or if you're doing other jaw exercises, feel free to comment down below. Uh, always curious to know if there's other exercises that I could be doing that uh, maybe work for you. But uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.